Richard at the Classic Gamers Guild, and we are returning to Hell's Kitchen as we continue going through Alone in the Dark 2. Now, if you remember, we left off. We were about to enter the elevator here. You know what? We, uh, we're going to just sit here. should help a little bit there. Alright, we go in the elevator. <clears throat> and there's Music Man. So, let's just do the simple. Is it? In his presence, tear it. Or if it's torn in his presence... door. <sighs> now we have a riot gun that has... I got a lot of flasks. Five flasks. Now my riot gun has five shots. Alright, now you're in gunfire. Punching his lights out now. Oh well, now he's out. Now we have more bullets here, I think. Yep, more loads for the riot gun. And over here. have targets here. Hearts. Diamonds. Remember, when I jack, jack of diamonds. Oh, I hit that wrong. Ah! Thank you. 
All right. One more. I just love how a flash of this can make you feel better. By the Honorable Senator Grant. As soon as I could, between two sessions, I would practice my skill with the two bands. I managed some splendid shots, but I was far from attaining my dream of potting three balls at the same time. That takes skill. The legendary shot. I leave that to the expert players of Mandarin, the game of Chinese billiards, at which I have never been more than a bumbler. Mm. I have enough trouble shooting two consecutive doubles, as I did during a very long game with Elisha Comstock. Comstock? Are you telling me that this game has some sort of distant link with, with Bioshock? Yet I did see a ruffian by the name of DeWitt accomplish what I had thought was impossible. The fellow actually managed two triples before my eyes. From then on, I practiced feverishly, even renouncing <clears throat> alcohol and wine, which poisons the spirit sentries. Seven days later, the powdered rascal took three hundred dollars from me. I was so furious that I later refused to preside over the defense commission. Mm. With my gold in his pocket, he sneered at me. Senator, you would need many lives to beat me. Mm. I intended to challenge him to another match. But DeWitt disappeared completely. I was sickened. So downhearted was I that I gave up the game for three years, turning instead to casino gambling. My experiences in that field are described in my last book, The Jackpot I Nearly Won. Yeah, that would be the story of many a gambler. <clears throat> but I believe DeWitt is one of, uh, one of One-Eyed Jack's crew, I believe. If I, I think we saw the name earlier. Alrighty. Let's go back out here and... Oh, 
here. A man in his underwear. Looks like the most sober individual. Put that down on the floor. Hello! Sobers up if you grab that sack. Okay, what do we got here? A sack. Let's open it. A Santa Claus suit. game because we've reached the second the main started reaching the main floor all right hmm what's that guy doing Going up the steps? Hmm. Hmm. A statue. Hmm. Ah, something about that statue I don't trust. Hi, Mr. Chuckles. Do you know that wine may open many a door? You know, I think he's not gonna believe that I'm, uh, one of his friends. Right. Look like 
like something I could interact with. Poison! amount here. Hmm. It's closed. Well, they took that wine. Let's step back. Guy's dead. I think another guy's dead. Now he's dead. token and a gold token. Let's use this. Nothing there. All right, let's see. Anything in here? Bulletproof vest. I'll come in handy later. Thompson will also come in handy later. I mean, it'll be better than uh, a frying pan, I would think. Oh, there's something over here you have to. Oh, I didn't see it. Ooh, loading clip. Good. I think it's time to go to the next floor. I think there's trouble behind that door. Save again. 
for number one here. And it's a bathroom. Nice. And I am not, not using that toilet right now. Alright. Alright, spastic save. Check this door out. Frying pan at the ready! He's a fast one, isn't he? <laughs> He's out. Yeah, I probably could have done that a lot better. <clears throat> what we got here? Ooh, a sword stick. We'll find another one, hopefully. missing part. Oh, I can't read it. Damn. <clears throat> Crew muster for the three master flying Dutchman. Turn to free booting December 25 of the year of our Lord 1724. Mm. Yeah. Never trust a ship called a flying Dutchman. Son of a baron and born of a chambermaid, Frederick de Witt was brought up strictly. At the death of his tutor, he was free to study the alchemistic art. Clever with his fingers, he spent much time at the gaming table, ruining Redmond Barry at the game of piquet. An adventure with the Countess of O forced him to join the Navy. <laughs> he soon deserted his ship. His skill with cards gained him a reputation in Barbados, where he met One-Eyed Jack. Mm. Their one and only game resulted in the massacre of Terra Nova. A friendship was born. DeWitt served Jack as both spy and poisoner, and served well. The Princess Isabelita Negroni called him the brightest star of my nights. Joined in 1715 as pharmacist. Mm. Mr. I may have another name. Who knows? Born at New Amgar and transported to Haiti, his life was chaos until he met Elizabeth Jarrett. Initiated into voodoo, he became the Hunsi for the new priestess after losing his senses for 14 days and nights. His remarkable eyesight earned him the post of lookout 
following the attack of 25 December. Accompanied by his mates, the Look Boys, he likes to dance for the crew on calm days. Hmm. And fighting his way with a harpoon is fearful to behold. The pillage of San Cristobal and the sacking of the governor's palace were examples of his thirst for killing. Who can have forgotten how he harpooned the rector, Joaro de la Cruz, from thirty feet? Joined as lookout on 25 December, 1724. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Ask me to name a man among men and I'll say Black Hat. A bright lad, Alistair Fane began his life of crime at the age of eight. To free his father, he placed a toy bear stuffed with dynamite at the gates of Killarney Jail. Nine men died. Soft-hearted to a fault, he kept Captain Dixon's black hat and stitched blades into its rim. Hmm. <clears throat> Sounds like a, little, a little bit like odd job. He then stowed away and ended up in Trinidad, where he took an interest in firearms and became an expert man-hunter. One-Eyed Jack was sure to learn of such a man. Black Hat. Marksman. Mm. Bubble Blade is the youngest of a family of armorers of Toledo. Trained from birth to handle a sword, he became a duelist of note. At the Prado, he gutted the young Viceroy. His famous escape from Santa Sangre is still spoken of in awe. One-Eyed Jack recruited him in Mexico, persuading him to say farewell to his six magnificent companions in arms. Tales of his famous secret stroke, the Royal Pardon, soon spread far and wide. His two-hour fight with Lieutenant Briggs will go down in the history of freebooting. Bubble Blade, Second Lieutenant. Hmm. <clears throat> well, now we know more of the crew. You know, I'm looking back and I'm thinking maybe I should have uh, used the uh, vest earlier in that last battle, but I just can't help but think I'm going to need it later. Chess and Magic If the White Queen seeks the throne, the King must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is the key to the royal gambit. Translator's Note This Gaelic poem might have helped Crowley to defeat Tartakover, the man who fed the devil in the box with gold. Hmm. Okay, um... I 
anything here. There's something here. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stop it right here. And next time, we're going to work our way from there. And, uh, actually, depending on how it plays out, I may have to resort to redoing the second floor because Jack's taking a... Or Ed's taking a bit of a blow. Anyhow, hope you've been enjoying this. Uh, next time, we'll continue with the playthrough of Alone in the Dark 2. And if you enjoy this, please subscribe and uh, check out the channel. There'll be more coming because this is only the second game in the Alone in the Dark series. And I will hope to play after this one, Alone in the Dark 3, and then uh, I'm going to try doing the Alone in the Dark New Nightmare. That, that was the only one that I played on the Game Boy Color. So it might be interesting to see what the real game looks like. Okay, you take care all, and have a good time. Bye.